Problem 6 asks us to try to load some data from an Excel file that we have on our local computer. In order to do this, I'm first going to have to upload it and get it into the cloud system. I can do that by clicking on the Files tab and then click on Upload. This will allow me to browse to find the location where the file is. This file is actually in my Downloads folder. It's some data, flight data that I collected from a rocket. So let's open that. And it's going to put it in the default directory, which is cl cloud slash project. So I will click OK. Here it is now on the cloud server. So one thing I can do is use read.xlsx and load the data that way. So I'll call this motion data frame. And I'll use read.xlsx. Now, when I run this, you'll notice that it wasn't able to find that function. That's because I've never installed it. So let's go to the package manager and try to find it. I need to look for the file open as XLSX. Now I will need to load it using the library command, or I can just go down here and find open XLSX and check on it, and it runs the library open command for me. In order to get the command to work, I have to either use file.choose or I need to put the actual path to the location of the file. Let's try using file choose first. I'll copy this and put it inside the parentheses and try running it. All right, it's now asking me where the file is. I click on that. It opens it and here's the data frame. Great. Now if I don't want to use the choose command, I'll just call this df1 and I'll put the actual path in here, which was slash cloud slash project and then the name of the file. Let's try that. Hmm. Wasn't able to find it. Uh, okay, I think I should have not capitalized cloud. Let's try that. Okay, that's better. It was able to read it in. So the advantage of using file.choose is I don't have to painfully type in the path where the file is located. However, if I'm going to run this script repeatedly, it's actually nice to put it in by its path. Otherwise, I have to go through the file open dialog every time I want to run the script. All right, it's asked me, once I've loaded the file, write code to display the first column in the console. Well, the first column is called seconds. So to do that, I need to say motion df1 dollar sign time, uh, seconds. And if I run that, 
Here are all the numbers from the first column. 